we sort of started out in the front office. We have, a, a, as I say, a time series database that's based in memory. Um, it was uh, consumed by the Algo uh, guys in the early days. Analytics are built off it. it it's, it's probably the dominant provider in, in that area. Uh, it's built by front office guys, either quants or, or techs people, very fast delivery. Uh, it, it is constantly uh, building, uh, building algos or building analytics and putting them into uh, a sort of pseudo production environment. So it puts it in, our algos go straight into uh, a strategy, a trading strategy typically, that's how it's used. And that trading strategy goes live almost. It's monitoring, looking at uh, behavioral patterns, it's looking for price changes and all that good stuff. And what it does is it gets put promoted when it knows it can make money. That's kind of our world. And there's a lot in RegTech that's going to have to mimic that. Um, no, none of this is static rules. None of this is something that sits in the background and, and doesn't change its behavior. It's all about uh, real-time events affecting uh, uh, behavior. So that world um, really is being mimicked. We're seeing people, uh, customers, kind of, we've got it in the front office. It's not, it's not industrial quality. Uh, there's no curation on the data. We're not quite sure what the algos do. Can we take that up? and can we industrialize it? And that's coming into the reg space. So we see the same architecture appearing up in this, this whole uh, reg space. So at one end, we're seeing data everywhere, analytics everywhere, trying to deal with real time, uh, trying to deal with time-based information. On the second part, we're seeing uh, that the, the old world of algo building is being brought upstairs now um, uh, to, to the, uh, the compliance departments. And what's really driven a lot of uh, our customer requests is this um, notion of, um, building decision models. Um, so a lot of the reg conversations we have are not about just rules engines. It's really about uh, building design, uh, building by design these decision models. So you know you build a process model that does something, you build a data model to support the data you're, you're, you're going to work on. Now uh, we see most new developments incorporating by design decision models. That's really important to understand. I think that the reg world will have to build that into its architecture, decision models. Um, so decision models currently uh, operate on historical data. They do back testing on historical data. They, they, they look at behavioral patterns on the, on the historical data. Um, we say to clients, we'll use ours because ours is super fast at doing that. Um, it goes back in time. It can, it can talk time. It talks time very, very quickly. And we find a huge productivity in the clients that use this for reg, uh, building algos, building analytics off the back of uh, mass historical data sets. When we look at what's being built uh, and what vendors are going to start to look at, uh, at, at building themselves, we think that that decision model is going to be baked into the design. And, and that's really important. I think uh, we, we find that really, really uh, uh, interesting. Models will appear more frequently to monitor behavior. Um, and they'll do that because they've got fast access to historical data. They'll be a bit like the front office, we think. They'll push forward and they'll say, let's monitor this. Let's look at what the normal behavior looks like. And let's modify these algos and these analytics in the compliance department. Let's modify them actually in real time. Let's adjust accordingly. So we see those three things coming out. This, this data everywhere, analytics, so we're asking for what do we do with time information, what do we do with real-time information, how do we put that into our data architecture. We look at what we started as and we see that moving up to the, the reg departments from the front office, you know, a lot more in terms of um, tidying it up, being uh, industrial about the infrastructure, taking the silos of equity fixed income, providing more uh, unstructured data into the, into the mix, but it's still the same type of architecture. The algos evolved for the algo traders are now uh, decision models that are being built in the reg tech world, being pushed out into a sandbox typically, first of all, to look at the, uh, uh, the effects of putting that live and then adjusting those models accordingly. We just, by way of um, uh, how much uh, we're seeing this, uh, we get a lot of uh, startups coming to us. We set up a fund where we take our core technology and give that to uh, uh, companies that may want to use our, our core database. Probably 60, 70 percent of all the inbound, all the origination for those deals are around reg, reg or reg tech in some way, shape or form. Um, and I'd add into that um, anti-money laundering and uh, fraud detection. You know, we're seeing people come to us now for, for use of this sort of technology. Um, and uh, yeah, I think, um, I think it, it, it's going to get really, really interesting out there. It's going to be a very sophisticated uh, tech environment. So thank you very much.